guys, it's Thomas. Today, we're going to be 3D printing a, com a commercial passenger airplane. So, if you didn't know this about me, I'm really into aviation and I'm really fascinated by it. And I always wanted to make a RC airplane, which I'm going to do some in some of the following months. So, let's get started! off the print bed. This is going to be a KLM inspired jet plane so I'm going to get to assembling it. So I've got the back wings installed and I sand it down and kind of put the little connector plug in so let's go together evenly. So I'm going to put the back on and hopefully try to get the wings off. So I got the vertical stabilizer on in addition to the horizontal stabilizers. So now um, I've been having trouble trying to get the wings on. So I'll go back to you when I get that done. So I finally got it completed. I think it looks very nice. And you may notice the black spot because they wouldn't go all the way together even after sanding them down a whole lot. So I just kind of put hot glue in to keep them together nice and strong and to make sure it stays in. And also because I ran out of super glue. So it looks amazing. And I think I'm gonna find a Sharpie, a very small one, and color all the windows in the pirate's thing black. So I'll get back to you when that's done. So I have a mechanical pencil, which I think is going to look better to make the window look, look better. So I'm going to speed the video up right now so I can have it not be a five extra minute video. So I've done, been done penciling the model, and I think it looks absolutely amazing. So let's get some close-ups of it right now. So here's some close-ups of the model. As you can see, it looks really good. Here's the inside of the jet engine. It doesn't have any blades. Hot glue isn't the cleanest, but I think it still looks amazing. Back wings. So... This is actually a KLM style plane, be with the blue and like white wings, and I can't print dual extrusion, though I might consider getting that ZYL tip printer or something like that that James reviewed. Here's a close up on the windows. You can't see those. And there's some pretty cool details on the wings. And here's like a front view. Aircraft in the top view. You may notice one of the engines is slightly bent. I didn't get really get this higher enough. I'll have to turn it that way, that should work. So, let's get it. Let's get a normal camera. So, yeah. So, I'm back the next day and I've printed a stand that I didn't realize came with the model. So, it worked very slightly, so it kind of rocks. But really, in all cases, I don't care because this looks freaking awesome. So, I guess there isn't much more to printing this airplane. I thought it was just too good to be on a Thingiverse Thursday video. I think the stand really makes it stand out, too. I really like the detail on this, even though it isn't like a specified airplane, like a 737, 87, or 97. <laughs> This could be a concept of the 797. Uh -huh. And one thing I really like about the stand is you can see the infill lines in it due to me using a higher speed to make it print really quite fast. So, and this um, stand holds the model on really hard. So, I hope this model gets uploaded on Monday. The video for this uploads on Monday, which is the day it is today. So, that's really all there is to this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you um, like the channel, please um, consider hitting subscribe and ring the bell so you can um, so you can get notified of any new content. Also, don't forget to like that smash button. And as always, 